Hello guys, this is Roger Brown. I am the raid leader for the World of Warcraft Guild method. And I'm going to show you how we did our HIMO heroic speedrun at the BlizzCon 2014 live raid. So as we start the raid, you can see our uh, raid composition on the bottom. We're using five healers, two of them as Resto Druids, one uh, Holy Priest, uh, Holy Paladin, and the Resto Shaman. And our two tanks are a Warrior and a Paladin. So as we start the first boss, uh, there's some transfers that we need to do. In the first trash, there is uh, an Orc that you need to kill. And he will spawn every few seconds a couple of Ogre casters that give him a shield. The only thing you can do to speed this up is slow those ogres as they are coming out so that prevents them from casting the shield for a few seconds extra and that speeds up your kill. So the first boss, Kargath Bladefist, there are a couple of things you can do to speed the, to kill the boss really fast. One of them is when the boss throws five people on the outer room, they just jump back straight into the fight, ignore everything else. And the second thing that you can do is whenever the boss fixates on a player, you need to drag him instantly towards a fire so that he stops chasing them and everyone can keep doing maximum DPS. So as soon you, as you kill Kargath, you want to skip all the other bosses and go straight for twin og ogrons. And the way you do it is killing the first trash pack that you find in front of you and then just passing by the next two trash packs because they're not going to aggro if you don't hit them. So just run past them and go for the next ones. After you've cleared all the trash uh, inside the room of twin ogrons, which are not very, very hard, just take it easy with them. Uh, and then you pull the boss. The only two things that you should be worried about is one, try to keep them on top of each other for maximum DPS as you can cleave from one to another. And the second thing is you need to actually move away uh, Famos when he's about to Whirlwind because it's going to kill the whole raid if you don't do that. So after the twins are dead, you will are making your way to Korag and there are a lot of trash around him. What you need to do is actually pull them out of the room and LOS them so they all stack up around the corner and AOE them all down. Otherwise, they're going to stay spread and your DPS is not going to be as efficient. Just look out because they do some nasty spells. Interrupt them. So when you reach Korag, it's a pretty straightforward fight. You need to just nuke the boss and you need to only look out when he's going to the middle to regain his magic shield. The adds that he's going to spawn, before you, they die, you need to move them into the circles on the ground so that they don't explode and kill your whole raid. So moving on towards Margok, the first big trash that you see, you can skip all of that. So don't be intimidated. They might, you might get into combat, but they're not going to fight you because they fight each other. So just run past and ignore them. So moving up and taking the portal, what you want to do is there are going to be five ogres, and you can see all five of them and just run past through them. And you're going to find three more ogres guarding the gate to Margok, just kill them one by one, focusing on the big ones. So now that you finally reached Margok, uh, the fight is actually quite harder than the previous ones. There are a couple of things you need to look out for. The first thing are those mines on the ground. Uh, the second thing you need to look out for are the intermission phases. So when the boss reaches 55% and 25%, He's going to go up in the air and spawn a lot of adds. So you need to have a lot of DPS cooldowns to take those adds down before the boss comes out of the, that phase. Otherwise, you're running the chance of wiping because you're fighting both at the same time. When the second intermission is over, it's the last phase of the fight. And make sure you use all your survivability cooldowns and just burn the boss. Ignore the adds pretty much and enjoy the loot. This has been Roger Brown from Method. Hope you liked our strategies. If you have any other better strategies, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And see you the next time.